Ooh, well, hello, guys. Marco's here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. I'm laughing because I'm trying to keep from crying. I literally am trying to keep from crying because this year stinks. It, this year has been abysmal. This year, you know, I, quite frankly, we're on five backups on the offensive line. Zeke Elliott can't hold on to football. We've lost Dak Prescott. Uh, we had a shortened season, and we have Mike McCarthy and Mike Nolan, and we have Jerry Jones basically giving the vote of confidence to Mike Nolan. The season's bad. It's bad. We're, we're not a good football team at all. Now, the funny thing was, we've had the conversation now for a couple of years on Dak Prescott, whether or not he is a quarterback that the Cowboys should rely on. You know, a lot of people will say his numbers aren't real or you can play with them and things like that. In fact, Colin Cowter behind me here said last week that Andy Dalton and Dak Prescott, this is what he said, not my words, not my words. He said that there won't be any drop off from Dak to Andy Dalton. That Andy Dalton was a franchise quarterback and their numbers, you looked at their numbers first four years, they're identical quarterbacks. They're the same that, you know, in fact, that the Cowboys may have a decision to make at the end of the season because Dak Prescott might not be as good as we think he is. And after last night, okay, you can say what you want. You got to feel that we would have scored more than at least 10 points in that game. Andy Dalton, three sacks, two interceptions, uh, 260 yards maybe. Uh, one touchdown pass, but, you know, as much as we talk about Dak Prescott getting a lot of his yards in garbage time, well, yeah. You know, we talk about the Cowboys always falling behind because the offense couldn't produce. Well, you know, and or, or Dak has it perfect because he's got a lot of weapons. And Andy Dalton, of course, he's never had the weapons yet. And, and we've got fans out there that always say, well, you know, with the weapons that Dak Prescott's got, you know, anybody can just show up and do better than what he does. Well, he had the same weapons. Dak, the three games before that, throwing over 450 yards. So let's see the walk back here. And, and this is the thing that kills me. This is what really kills me here. The Cowboys look terrible. They look awful. Andy Dalton, you look at it and say, yeah, maybe there's a reason why Cincinnati drafted Joe Burrow. And they let Andy Dalton go. Yeah, maybe there was a reason why they benched him for a no-name. There's a, maybe there's a reason then why a lot of other teams didn't pick him up. You know, we, we looked at uh, New England, who let Tom Brady go. You know, we really thought that Carson Palmer, excuse me, Carson Palmer, Andy Dalton was great. Then why wouldn't somebody like New England? Well, maybe we're realizing that. Instead of saying those things, he blames Dak Prescott for the loss. He blames Dak Prescott. Let's listen to this. Yeah, I, I've always, you know, we were talking about this this morning. And I, and listen, we know that Dak's better than Andy Dalton. And Dak oh, is a franchise quarterback. Dalton was a franchise quarterback. He's 32. I don't think anybody can win right now at Dallas. I think the coaching's bad. The defense is terrible. The offensive line, after Zach Martin got hurt last night, Dallas now has five backups. It, it's a mess. They have a great wide receiving court. But even Zeke now is not trustable. Nobody can win with this team. Well, Carson Wentz can. <laughs> Carson Wentz can win. Oh, wait a minute. You see what he did there? Oh, but Carson Wentz could win with this team. Could he? Could he? Okay, let's go on. With this team and Mahomes and Russell Wilson. But I feel like Dallas has been chasing this Dak Mirage since his rookie year. So he's a fourth rounder. He goes 13-3. and three. Every year since then, it's gotten worse. And every year they've relied on him more, it's gotten worse. But that year was a mirage. It, it really was. They had the best offensive line easily in the NFL. We were calling it one of the best offensive lines ever. Zeke wasn't beat up. Zeke was the he was led the NFL in rushing. They played a last place schedule. They played the AFC North, which had that year one winning team. And they played the NFC North, where Detroit was actually viable that year. It was a mirage. The more the Cowboys take away his rookie year, have, have leaned on Dak, 
He's 29 and 25 with 40 percent of those wins coming against the Giants in Washington. That's not to say he's going to franchise quarterback. That's not. He's better than Dalton, but he's going to cost you 35 to 40 million each. You know, before he goes too much further, it just hit me. It just hit me that one, he's an idiot, but two. Couldn't you say the same thing about Russell Wilson? You know, Russell Wilson's first three years were about 3,200 yards passing per game, 22 touchdown passes and stuff. Um, you know, nothing to write home about. And they had the best defense in football that was not only great at shutting teams down yardage-wise, but also took the ball away. Now, here's the funny thing. In, in those first couple of years of him, they won the Super Bowl, and they should have won a second Super Bowl, except Pete Carroll decided, instead of running beast mode, we'd put it in Russell Wilson's hands, and Russell Wilson threw an interception. But in that time, having the Seattle Seahawks ask more of Russell Wilson? Haven't they asked more of Russell Wilson? Because Russell Wilson, you know, he's playing on a different level right now. Playing on a different level has been since those Super Bowl years. But you can look at it and say, there, well, maybe this year will be the different one, but the other years that they asked for more from Russell Wilson, he gave it to him. but you can't look and say that those teams were as good as those other ones. Here, and Andy cost you three. Now, Dak is better, but he's going to be very expensive, so, oh, and he's going to get a contract. Okay, so, and, and also, too, here, he says, Dak's going to cost you like 35, 38. Andy Dalton costs you three. So are you saying that we're better off with Andy Dalton? with that performance for that $3 million? Is that what you're saying? Are you saying don't don't pay Dak, you, you, you know, because that's the problem? I find too many people worried about what <clears throat> Dak's going to make. You know who we worry about quarterbacks and their contracts? Kirk Cousins, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Dak. They're good. We never talk about Russell Wilson's contract. We never talk about Aaron Rodgers' contract. I don't even know what Tom Brady makes now. And after about two days, who gives a rip what Patrick Mahomes made? We talk about how great they are. The reality is the more Dallas has relied on Dak, which is not fair, the worse the team gets. They're a 500 team since that first year, with 40% of their wins coming against the Giants and the Washington football team. That is not to say Dak isn't. We can also throw in a lot of those wins coming against the Eagles as well, because I think we're five and three against them. Just saying. Is it good? Dak is good. I like Dak. I like the leadership stuff more than the accuracy and the arm stuff, but he is somebody I could build around. But the, the, this, this, I feel like Dallas is just chasing Dak's rookie year. They're just chasing it. He is a complimentary piece. He is not Mahomes. He's not close to Russell Wilson. I mean, just to show you, and, and a lot of people for the last couple of years, I'm not the only one to say this. We, we've all said this, that a lot of Dak stats are a little deceiving. They trail in every game. You know, they, they give you an example of what stats mean very little. Andy Dalton last night had more first downs than Arizona, dominated time of possession, three for three on fourth down, 34 of 54 for 270 yards and was never really competitive against a quarterback, Kyler Murray, that completed nine passes. I don't want to hear about stats. I don't want to. Uh, Mahomes yesterday was terrific. Didn't have a big stat game. He did against the Rams on Monday Night Football years ago and lost. Mm. I, I Again, if you gave Dak Matt Nagy, Dak Sean Bay, Dak Kyle Shanahan, you maybe Dak is great. But Jerry's not going to get that kind of coach. Because that kind of coach is going to demand power and control of the offense. And he's not they're not going to take Kellen Clemens, Gary's friend. The bottom line, Dak with this staff and this defense, Andy Dalton with this staff and this defense, neither, neither is going to win big games against good teams. And yes, Dak is. So we walked that back, didn't we? We walked this whole thing that Andy Dalton actually is, you know, he's Dak. That it's not going to be a drop off. That's what you said. And somehow, Dak isn't even on the field. He's on one leg, and yet the Cowboys' problem is Dak Prescott. After we got our teeth kicked in. Wow. Wow. Oh well. How much do they pay this guy? 
You know, he's talking about, well, you're going to pay Dak 35, 38 million. You get Andy Dalton for three. Well, I'm sure he gets millions right there. You get me for free.